So in this video, we're gonna be talking about customer service, how to treat your customers uh, on eBay. So often you're gonna get messages from angry customers because they haven't received the item or the item isn't as described or they didn't get what they expected or, or I don't know, any other reason where they just might not just be happy with the service and they're gonna send you an angry message uh, and when you get that message, it can, it can feel like a personal attack against you. And it can be, it'd be all too easy just to go out and fire and attack back, which is the worst thing that you can do because that can lead to negative feedback uh, and it can also lead uh, to them maybe opening up, opening up an eBay case and just causing a whole load of problems. So what you want to do is, number one, even if you believe if is what they're saying is true or not, you know they, they might have claimed to not have received an item. And even if you don't believe them, it is always better uh, to be apologetic and understanding and trying to do what you can possibly do to resolve the, uh, the situation and let the customer know that. Even if you think the customer may be pulling a fast one. And I'm going to get uh, in this video in a bit, I'm going to get into how and what we can do uh, to stop people pulling a fast one. So a couple of years ago, I didn't have any of these systems that I have now in place. Uh, so a couple of years ago, say, far, you know, rewind, a couple of years ago, I was selling, say, on average, a thousand items a month, around about 30 items a day roughly, probably around about a thousand items per month. And out of that amount of items that I've sold, uh, we're looking at around about 30,000 pounds in sales and 10,000 pounds in profit. And out of that, I would have roughly had to spend around about 500 pounds on refunding people because they said they didn't receive the item or resending items out. So I was, I was losing 500 pounds every single month. Uh, so, I come up with these emails that I used to send to people uh, that are very apologetic, they're very friendly, and they were sort of worded in the way uh, that it makes it sound like you're on the customer side, you're trying to resolve the situation. But also, at the same time, let them know very firmly what your course of action is gonna be to resolve the issue. Uh, so one of the things that, that I've got in this email template, I've got all these email templates in my Kev's 11-step eBay Power Seller Blueprint, by the way. There's going to be a link to that program down below. Now, it's a paid program, uh, but this is the exact blueprint uh, that I use to make my own listings on eBay uh, that has now made me over a million dollars worth of sales on eBay. And these are the exact same things that I teach to hundreds of students on my course, many of which are now making thousands every single month. So in that program, I've got these email templates that if somebody sends you a message, uh, you know, maybe for example, they might send you a message claiming that they haven't received the item. I'll just copy and paste it into the reply and send that off. And 99% of the time, that resolves it. And it's basically along the lines of that you're apologetic uh, and you're gonna look into it. And by looking into it, you know, if, if the item's gone missing, uh, you can only assume that it must have been probably stolen. Uh, so, you know, you have to take it up with local authorities, with the police to see what happened to the parcel uh, and along those lines. And it's very friendly, it's very polite, and it's making it sound like you're on the customer's side. But also, they now know that if they have received it and they haven't actually, you know, they, they have received it and they're claiming that they haven't, uh, that if they get investigated, it could land them in hot water. And if it's something relatively cheap, usually nine times out of ten they're gonna say oh yes it's just turned up so that solves that and I've got a few other little strategies that I use to limit uh, these these amount of people saying they haven't received an item so now with these measures in place it probably costs me round about 30 pounds a month in, in having to refund people that haven't got it and they're probably legitimate because you know a certain amount of items do actually get lost in the, in the post so you know so now with me losing around about 30 pounds a month, but making 10 grand profit, that's, that's, that's a small little loss. And you could record your items. People say, why don't you put uh, tracking on the items? Why don't you record them? Well, that costs an extra one pound per item. So if you were to do that over a thousand items, that would now cost you a thousand pounds extra. So, you know, even at the 500 pounds loss, you're still better off to not bother with the tracking. You're still saving money. But with these little systems that I've got in place, with the email templates and all these other things that I've got, that are all in the blueprint, uh, you're going to bring that number right, 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 right down. Where in my case, it's, it's, the losses are almost nothing now. And, um, you know, this works with everybody in the program. I've had people in the program making big losses. They've applied these, these steps 
uh, and now the losses are so minimalistic, it's, it's not even worth worrying about. Uh, so that is it for this video, guys. I hope you got something from it. The main takeaway is, is to be as polite and friendly as possible. If you suspect that somebody is really ripping you off, I would give them benefit of the doubt first and make a note, a note of their email address or their, paper, uh, their uh, eBay username. Make a note of it. And then if they do the same thing again, where they say they haven't got an item, you can just put them on the block list. eBay's got a block list. And if you put people on that list, it stops them from buying from you again. Because I've had it before where the, where the same person, you must have bought, like I, I can't remember, multiple items off me uh, over the course of a few months. And he always claimed to not have received it. And I kept refunding him all the time. But once I started making a note of username, you can do it in a simple notepad on your computer. You can do the old control F function to find that username. Uh, all this stuff's in the course uh, and then uh, once a, a certain person does the same thing again they say I haven't got it you can now block them uh, so they're not going to come and give you any more hassles but of course you don't want to block everybody because some people maybe haven't actually, actually haven't got it and you don't want to block those customers because those customers could then go on and be spending thousands and thousands with us over the course of the next few years so you don't want to you do not want to block good customers and you do not also want to ruin relationships with good customers uh, by firing back emails that are going to rub them up in the wrong way. So always be polite, always be apologetic, always be firm with what you're going to do uh, and keep a note of everybody that says they haven't got their item so that if they do it again, you can block them. Uh, unless you're absolutely sure that they're ripping you off, maybe they're really rude uh, and they're demanding like... They're, demanding their money back and they don't want to you know they don't want to sort of uh sort of play along and help out with the whole process uh, and they're rude i would probably just block them straight away so i hope that video is going to help some of you guys out i've got a few more videos written down here that i want to make uh we've got one on postage we've got another one on ebay fees and we've got another one with um how how to make ebay listings on your cell phone on your smartphone uh, so I've got a few more videos coming up, guys. Uh, you know, if you want the full, full blueprint, the blueprint that I run by, the step-by-step -step guide, there's a link to that down below. Now, as I said, it's a paid-for program, but you get a 30-day money-back guarantee. And the amount of money that you can make by following this guide, you can make that money back every single day. You know, provided you take action and follow the information that's laid out. You know, some people are lazy, some people procrastinate. To those, uh, obviously, it's not going to work. Just, just stick, stick to your nine to five job. But for those that want a better life, for those that want to learn and take action, uh, then this could be the key that could help you get the dreams that you've wanted. So that is it for this video, and I'll see you soon.